if I hold a pencil up or a pen up, like so perhaps, yeah, like so, you're all going to see something different because you're all looking at it from different positions in the room. Some of you are looking at it nearly end on, down bottom left here. Um, so you're seeing it as being very short. Some of you are looking at it broadside on, so you're seeing it as nearly having its, its full length. And we know the reason for this. This is because each of you seeing a projection of the pencil into two dimensions, perpendicular to your line of sight from your eyes to the pencil. If you're, looking at it, you, if you're looking at it end on, you're going to see it as quite short, and if you're looking at it broadside, you're going to see it as closer to your, your normal length. And the reason we're seeing different, you're seeing different um, lengths when you look at it is because the pencil has got an extension into a third dimension along the line of sight. And when we take account of this, we will all arrive at the same length for the pencil. It's length in three dimensions. So the correct length, and this is what's observing, this is what you observe, which is perpendicular to your line of sight. Okay. So let me use this analogy to help with thinking about our different perceptions of time and space in special relativity. And this way of thinking about it is due to one of Einstein's teachers, Hermann Minkowski, and he announced it the year before he died, and he announced it in 1908, the year before he died. And I think it's the most productive and least confusing way to think of relativity. Minkowski said, henceforth, space by itself and time by itself are doomed to fade away into mere shadows and only a kind of union of the two will preserve an independent reality. So in Minkowski's view, we shouldn't think of space and time as separate from each other. We should think of them as a kind of union that is um, now known as space and time. So space and time are no longer separate as Newton thought of them, but are intermixed. Now, when looking at this pencil, the length you saw depended upon your position. It depended upon your seat in the room. People in different seats are seeing this pencil as having different lengths because you're all seeing its projection onto a two-dimensional plane um, perpendicular to your line of sight. Different people in the room in different positions are seeing different lengths. But you all know that you can recover the true length because you all know that the pencil has got a projection into the third dimension. 